So now let's look at a couple of ways that we can handle collisions. So I'm just going to bring up our address space here and put some items into it. So a collision is when we have an item that maps to that same spot in memory. And I want to point out that these two arrays that we're putting in here, these key value pairs, are actually being stored at this address space like this within another array. So there's the array that's the address space. Then there's the array that holds the key value pairs at that particular address. But I'm just going to show them like this. So this process of putting all of the key value pairs that map to a particular address in the same address space is what's called separate chaining. And separate chaining is what we're going to use in this course. But let's look at another approach. Let's take that back out. And another approach would be to say, hey, if there's already an item at this address space, let's go to the next one and see if it's open. And if it is, put it there. Then if you have another item that maps to that address space, we go to the next spot to see if it's open. And if it's not, we go to the next. And if it's not, we go to the next. And we put it in here. This is what's called linear probing. And it is a type of open addressing. And there are multiple ways of doing open addressing. And there are all kinds of ways of dealing with collisions in a hash table. The two most common are going to be linear probing and separate chaining. So let's remove this and put everything back to a separate chaining format like this. This is what we're going to build in our hash table in this course. So I'm going to show one other way of doing separate chaining. I'm going to remove these. Another way is to have a linked list at every one of these addresses. And then we just add to the linked list when we have multiple items that map to that address. So I'm going to change this back to the way we're going to do this in this course, which is going to be separate chaining with arrays. And that is a few ways of dealing with collisions.